Dog, G'day, Coldweight Farms, followers and aspiring farmers and retiring farmers and investors. Uh, welcome to episode 15, uh, I believe this is, of Coldweight Farms, your weekly update of everything uh, Coldweight Farms and how we're trying to get you onto your dream farm. Um, so uh, thank you very, very much for, for watching. Uh, we've got a lot to get through today. Thanks again um, for those who are reaching out and saying good day. Um, and for those we're talking to about getting onto farms, it's exciting stuff um, and a quick update on that. So today, quick summary of what we'll talk about are the farm opportunities that are popping up. You might have seen them on Facebook already. Um, we want you to pitch us farms. That is a key message from here on in. Uh, and the power of social media in making your farming dreams a reality. I think that is a big one. Um, talk about that as well. So let's get cracking. Just got off the phone to some aspiring farmers and they were saying, well, what do we need to do to get on our farm? And, and more and more we're saying, you need to find farms and pitch them to us. So they talked about a 73 year old uh, retiring farmer that they know down the road and they're trying to figure out, well, how do we approach them uh, in a positive way about getting onto their farm? And I think that's exactly what you guys need to be doing. Think about the, the one, two, three, four, oh, there goes my phone, uh, five, six, uh, retiring farmers that you might know who uh, would want to get you onto their farm. Um, I'm sorry about this guys, this is a bad technical issue. Um, but that is key, is finding those people uh, who are looking to step back and you can have a really, really uh, positive discussion about how you could take out on their farm, uh, whether it's lease, uh, vendor finance, equity, whatever, uh, but get out there and, and find farms. Um, the reason why we do long form contact, uh, content like this video now and these weekly updates is because we believe that uh, what we're talking about is a very uh, full on decision for you guys to make, to think that uh, you're going to do farming full time. So we don't want to give you little snippets and uh, tidbits here and there. We're trying to make long form content so that you can take the time to think about this big decision. Um, so a lot of people are saying you need uh, shorter videos uh, and I think we will do that in time but for us now it's just create genuine great content that is useful to you guys and inspires you guys and I know it might take time to watch um, but we think if this is if you're really uh, determined to become a farmer you'll um, want to learn as much as you can and um, uh, that's the reason why we're doing these longer form uh, videos uh, etc. Uh, we're thinking of turning these into podcasts which I think is actually a great idea. I listen to lots of podcasts. I was going to figure out how to, to make that happen. So if anyone out there knows how to turn uh, these videos and turn them into audio and uh, make them into podcasts, let us know. Uh, we will be doing that very soon uh, when we find time. There's lots of farm opportunities happening. So there's three already loaded up. One is in uh, northeast Tassie, uh, 100 acres. So please get in touch around that one. There's, we've got a few people interested, but we'd love uh, a few more. There's one in northeast Victoria, which is loaded up with the Organic Regenerative Investment Cooperative, with which I'm on the board of, which is awesome. So it's a, a long-term lease, amazing opportunity for anyone um, wanting to get into horticulture or already has established horticulture skills, get onto that one. Um, and there's one in Heathcote uh, by some great people who are fruit experts. Uh, and fruit growing experts, so please get in touch on that. So just scroll through our Facebook to find them. There's one coming up in Queensland and there are loads more on their way. So that's what I'm saying to you. Are you farm ready? Have you mentally prepared yourself to get on a farm? Because opportunities are popping up and, uh, and that tied in with you pitching us farms, uh, you could be farming very soon. Um, you might have seen that we've been sponsoring Regional Voices this month, which is a talking about podcasts, a great podcast interviewing uh, inspiring people from all over Australia, regional Australia. Um, and we've got the honour of uh, introducing each of those podcasts every week. Um, the other day we had Tim Hicks on there, co-founder, and that was an awesome one to listen to. And there's some great people on there who are, who are doing great things for regional Australia. So get on and, and follow those guys and download that podcast. Oh, that's a bit better. The air conditioning noise is gone. So yeah, and, and just back on the other point around pitching, so this is, I've already emphasised it and it's on my list, so I've got to talk about it anyway. Um, please do pitch us farms. We're putting together a template on a business, on how to pitch a farm and listing all the things you need to go through. It, it might take a while, um, there's a bit of work in it, but it's ab absolutely what is needed for you guys to get your head around why you're the best farmer for this opportunity uh, and why an investor would invest. In fact, why would you invest if you're an investor? That's the sort of thing we're trying to unpack with these proposals. But we want you to go out there, talk to 100 retiring farmers, one of them will say, yes, let's discuss it, and then you sit down and put this proposal together, which we can kick around to investors. And you might not even need investors, um, but the main thing is for you to be out there hustling, finding farms, we have investors ready to go. If this is a great opportunity, like any business, if a business is making money, um, there's always going to be investors to back it. Uh, it's the same thing with farms. So I can't emphasize this enough. Get out there, find farms, and start pitching them. 
uh, the other day talking about pitching. Uh, I spoke at the Australian Farm Institute conference at uh, Crown on Friday. You might have seen my Facebook Live about that as well. But I've realised through starting Cultivate Farms with Tim and Tegan that the power in the, of the future is through social media and creating content and stories about why you as aspiring farmers want to get on a farm. So you, every one of you out there watching uh, needs to have a, a social media account uh, talking about your dreams to be a farmer and that's going to open doors uh, to people who follow you, whether they're locals or from anywhere in Australia or the world, they'll, they'll see you and they'll see your passion, your dedication and what you're doing to get farm ready and where you want to farm and how you want to farm and opportunities will pop up from that. But the power of social media to reach anybody you want, you can do targeted Facebook ads to the exact people that you want uh, is massive and it's there, it's free, it's available to anyone, everyone's on their phone all the time uh, on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or musically. Uh, consuming content if you're creating content doors will open and so that's why we believe so much in the power of social media and I'll put a link to that talk I did very soon uh, on our blog for you guys to watch but I think it's uh, it's key it's the future and that's what we're jumping on as well and then finally, uh, Farmer Profile has been loaded on our website. We need more of you guys loading up, loaded up. We need to prove to investors and retiring farmers that we do have the best in Australia. And I know you're there, you're watching. Uh, we need you to load your profile up. There's a free account, there's a paid account. We're happy to give discounts. Uh, we just need you guys to sign up. It's not that hard to do. The more farmers we have, the more momentum we're going to build. And it's not like there's a limited number of, uh, or there's, there's, there's a massive number of farms. I think there's 160,000 farms in Australia. So don't think that if you load up, someone else is going to take your farm. There are farms everywhere. We have investors ready to go. We just need you guys to load up so we can prove uh, that what we're on, what we're doing is awesome. We do have great people uh, ready to get farming. Whew, I think I spoke really fast then, but I'm excited. I, um, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are thinking about your what you're going to do to get on your farm. Um, keep talking about it over dinner with your partner, with your family. Uh, let's make it a reality. Get excited. And again, get out there. Find farms. Don't just wait for us to bring them to you. Find farms. Bring them to us and let's get you farming. Have a good week. Cheers.